Yo guys, what's going on? I am back to making tutorials. Sorry I didn't upload a tutorial in such a long time. I hope you guys can, uh, well, accept my apology for that. Um, today I'm going to show you a insane template I made on how to do the exact AP intro. Not like those bad clones, which are using my old template. Uh, also, I made a exact copy of his light leak overlay. So. Anyways, let's get started. First off, you want to download the files from the drive down below in the description, which will include the overlay, um, the template, and uh, the fonts you will need to open the template as it is intended to. Uh, first off, let's start by opening the template, which is called AP Intro by Synctify. Um, you will need After Effects 2020 or higher for this, so. I'll see you once I am in After Effects. Once you will open uh, the template, it'll probably look something like this or close to it. Um, you can see the animations, this same exact AP blur right there and the outgoing animation. So you probably want to change it to the text you need. Um, you can do that pretty easily by selecting this horizontal type tool and just uh, going back and changing the number so for the uh, sake of this tutorial I'm just going to do hashtag one and exit out of that now as you can see it's not in the min middle to align it correctly you cannot just do control home and home or oh, wait actually you can so control alt home on your keyboard and then control home or you can just go here to align oh wait you can't so you will need to use control alt home and control home to put it perfectly in the center and that's that now to change the twitter text you want to leave this sign here so to edit the text click here in the middle and just give, give it a name of your liking so maybe it is uh, editing pro wait um Steve VFX or something like that. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to again put my own name. So to give you guys a good example of what it will actually look like in a serious edit. So control alt home on your keyboard and control home to perfectly align it to the center. Then you want to make sure you also have this toggled. So maybe it will look for you, uh, like this for you, but you may want to make sure to have this toggled just in case After Effects doesn't automatically do it for you. So then you save your project, file, save, then go to file, export, and add to Adobe, not Adobe Media Encoder, but add to render queue. Uh, delete all of your other files because it may glitch it out. Oh, wait. Okay, so go here where it says output model lossless, put it to RGB plus alpha and just leave it AV. For the rest the format should be av now output to and select any part you want ap tutorial like that and then just click render and then i'll show you how to use it in your editing software okay so now i'm in my project and uh, i imported some cinematics uh the light leak and the uh render from after effects and a song which is by Dignal and Xanjoshi. You want to just listen to your song and really listen if there's any start on a beat like. First there's the silence and then you hear like a, the so song beginning to start abruptly. So you place a marker there and then put your first cinematic on there. Like that. Uh, it's a little bugged out at the start, so I'm going to cut that frame off. Also, I will leave the cinematic pack down below in the description. It is ba made by Xen... Spikesy? I don't know if I pronounced it right, but anyways. Uh, big shout out to him. I'll credit him down below. Now what you want to go ahead and do is... Right click, insert, and insert velocity. 
we'll go down here where you see this little cursor position double click it and control a and then type plus 30 like that and then zoom in and uh, yeah at the start uh, right click and then set to and make it 500 which is a piece is exact velocity at least i believe so it looks the exact same anyway so then drag on your uh what is it called text you made in after effects somehow this start isn't on there Okay, right there now it's correct aligned correctly as you can see it has a background which we do not like so to fix that right click on it properties media and put it on put the office channel on pre-multiplied dirty which will leave you with this little thing now you want to go ahead and find the point where the transition to the next text or your twitter starts so on this frame we want to have the next cinematic so place a marker there uh, rename it and call it call it cinematic 2 or, or cine 2 like that and then split your other cinematic right there now to make the exact same out velocity as in velocity put it go on here and uh, type minus 30 oh wait that i had it wrong minus 30 zoom in double click to add a point leave the normal and go all the way to the end and click the end point and set to 500 percent and make it a slow fade now we put the second cinematic down here cut off the first frame because it's bugged insert velocity and then again type here plus 30 frames oh don't split it just zoom in and set this point set to 500 and then fast fade go to the, go to the end your cinematic split it right there and minus 30 zoom in another point set to 500 go to slow fade and again that's it now I will just uh, zoom up that's, and make another layer above the original uh, text and cinematics uh, drag the AP light leak by Synctify make sure it's oh wait I'm messing up my Vegas wait what's this okay there it's fixed make sure it's the full length remove the audio so it delete your whole audio track and go exactly to the middle where the whole screen is covered and then you want to go ahead where these little three more option uh, is located at a visible button set and click show all click ok and then this will show up click it and make it add and you will be left with this you will left with this clean, really clean light leak. Anyways, um, that was basically it for this tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Or just send me a DM on Twitter. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial.